Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Um, there is, there's, it was very, it was very disappointing not to be on that team. Um, although, you know, I can't, I can't put the blame on anybody but myself. Um, you know, what was really frustrating, two things that come from it. It was very frustrating the back end of 2009 to be injured and not accumulate really any points towards making that uh, European team. Um, starting out 2010, still unsure with the injury as to how I was going to play, and then did a phenomenal job of, of playing some good golf in, in 2010 and getting myself almost on that team automatically. Um, what happens from there is completely out of my control. And although I wanted to be on that team and I was disappointed not to be on that team, I can't, I can't point a finger, I can't lay blame on anybody. Um, uh, I don't know what, was, what went on in that, uh, that room when the decision was made. Um, you know, I saw that I, I heard the decision. Um, it is what it is, you know. Uh, do I think I could have contributed to that team? Yeah, of course I do. You know, do I have a good match player? Good. Yeah. I mean, I can sit here, you know, and, and um, you know, put up a probably a pretty good case for why I should have been on that team, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's, um, it wasn't my decision. And, and I am completely at peace with the decision that was made. Um, what was very frustrating and, and I wasn't happy about was how it went down. Um, you know, in fact, Ian Poulter voiced concerns a couple of years ago when Ian and myself were picked and it, and it happened to be that particular week it was Deutsche Bank, but um, you know, Ian highlighted the fact that if we had actually made the cut that week, we would have been on the golf course when the decision was being made. And um, he brought that to the attention of the, the European Tour. And um, for whatever reason, we were in the same position again in 2010. And it affected not only myself, but it affected Padraig Harrington, Justin Rose, uh, Luke Donald. And you look at the scores that day, I mean, certainly you look at Luke, um, Luke was storming. Luke at uh, Barclays was, I think he got to 10 under par for the tournament through about 10 holes of the final round, found out the decision and then actually stuck it in reverse and went the other way. And, um, you know, knowing Luke's game, I mean, he had a great chance to win that golf tournament outright, you know, or get himself into a playoff and possibly win that thing. And the decision, you know, you'd have to ask him, but it clearly affected him whether he was, um, I don't know whether it was <laughs> shock at finding out who was or wasn't picked or whether it was his excitement about then finding out he was in the team, but it affected him. And um, he went from, you know, really a great chance to win that golf event to disappearing down into the pack. And, you know, myself and, and Justin, who were, on the golf course at the time and didn't know anything about the decision until we heard it from crowd members. That was very difficult to, to take. And um, that's my, my lasting memory from this whole experience has been, has been that. That was the thing that really got to me. And it's still, I'm still not particularly happy about it until that gets resolved. Um, you know, I have an axe to grind on that one. So uh, I'm a member of committee and I'll be, uh, I'll be trying my damnedest to, to make sure that decision goes to a Monday. Um, there's other factors as well. I think it, 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 it took away from, you know, Bob Diamond and his Barclays event. He's paid millions of dollars to put on. You know, we shouldn't really be cutting away for a, a press conference to go see the Ryder Cup picks. They can wait till a Monday or wait till a Tuesday. We can do it whenever. Um, but it's important that, um, that the guys who are in that mix and the guys that are 
it's going to affect good or bad our given time to um, be told directly and then digest it and then it gives them time to react when you know if they if they need to talk to the media because um, that whole situation on that Sunday at Ridgewood was not a good one